Step into the listening corner where stories come alive and learning is a thrilling adventure. Join us on our YouTube channel for a world of wonder crafted just for you and your little ones. Immerse yourselves in enchanting tales that captivate hearts and minds, blending the joy of storytelling with valuable lessons. From courageous characters to magical journeys, our corner is a haven of imagination and discovery. Parents, rest easy as our content weaves education into the fabric of fun. Hit subscribe, press play, and let The Listening Corner be your family's daily dose of joy, laughter, and delightful learning. Melly's Trade by Marlon John. Melly refused to get her pink and navy butterflies lunchbox. Instead, she sat and stared at it. She was certainly aware of all the nutritious stuff her mother had put inside. A peanut butter sandwich, orange juice, an apple, strips of carrots, and avocado. She loves apples and found it to be delicious, but Melly thought the avocado and carrots were disgusting. She preferred cookies and any other treats like the rest of her classmates. Melly had an idea. What if she could find someone to trade with? She was sure that her mother would not be pleased if she discarded her lunch, so trading with someone else would be the best thing to do. Does anyone want to trade? asked Melly, while tiptoeing around the classroom and displaying her vegetables in a tightly sealed transparent plastic bag. After receiving rejections and headshakes from the other students left to right, Melly walked slowly to her desk while lowering her head in disappointment. Melly, why are you pacing the room and not taking a lunch break? questioned Mrs. Henry. She had spent the previous few minutes watching Melly. I don't want this, Melly said while holding her bag of carrots, broccoli, and avocado for her teacher to see. Oh, Melly, kindly take a seat. Mrs. Henry immediately had an idea, and Melly was the inspiration. Please continue eating your lunch while you take a quick glance at the board. Class. Showing a drawing of a carrot, broccoli and an avocado, she continued. Did you know that if Melly kept eating carrots, her eyes would get stronger daily? Did you know that if she finishes her avocado and broccoli, she'll have pretty nice skin, hair and a very healthy brain? Melly was surprised that after her teacher stressed the value of eating vegetables, her classmates immediately asked for her carrots, broccoli and avocado. Children, I want you to know that when your mother gives you fruit or vegetables for lunch, it's because she loves you and wants you to be healthy. By doing this, you can have a healthy brain for learning and strong muscles for playing and having fun with your friends. Are you now going to share your vegetables with your classmates, Melly? Questioned Mrs. Henry. With her carrot in her mouth, Melly grinned. Not today, maybe tomorrow. Thank you so much for stopping by The Listening Corner, where stories come to life. I hope you enjoyed the adventure today. Remember, just like our characters, you have your own unique story to create. So until our next visit to the magical world of imagination, thank you for being fantastic listeners. Stay curious, stay kind, and always let your imagination lead the way in the listening corner. See you on the next exciting journey.